Welcome to Manny Vasquez here to the program, sitting just outside Chicago, Illinois right now. He's getting ready to fight Steven Peterson, coming up on the LFC 56 Legacy Fighting Championships, June 24th in Dallas, Texas. So still a Midwest Midwest card. Um, talk to me about Steven. How do you see this fight going down? Obviously, you're 9-1, uh, doing an excellent job, great work, great fighter. Steven Peterson's 13-4, and four, another great fighter, another great guy. Like You guys are very, very soon going to be getting calls from the big shows that come up. It's going to happen quick. Um, but how do you see Steven as, a, as an opponent? Uh, he's really tough. He uh, There's not one set thing that I think he, I mean, in my eyes, like, stands out. You know, he's mm-hmm. just, he's pretty well-rounded. He uh, he wins a lot of fights just being tougher than the other guy. You know, like, he'll fight super talented guys that, you know, he might not be predicted to win, and he'll just be tougher than that dude, have, you know, a bigger heart, and he'll end up uh, grinding it out and getting the win. So if you're, let, let's do a tough question. If you're in Steven's camp and he's preparing to fight you, what is he seeing when he watches the tapes on you of your, of your 10 fights? I mean, there's not a ton of video on me, so I'm assuming, you know, from everything he sees, that I'm just going to wrestle with him, you know? Mm-hmm. The last fight, we clinched, you know, it was real quick. It was just a takedown and then submission. So I'm assuming, I mean, from what he sees, uh, he's going to be, you know, weary of that. I know he likes to take people down. I know he likes to grapple, uh, but... I'm assuming, you know, you never know, but he's going to go the opposite route and try to, try to, you know, hit me. For the for the folks at home that don't know, of of Manny's nine wins, one KO, five submissions, three decisions. So he's definitely a submission guy when it comes comes to nuts and bolts. Um, and like you said, your last fight, uh, one minute forty five seconds into the first round, rear naked choke, um, yep. and that was against uh, uh, Ricardo Lucas Ramos um, in Legacy Fighting Championships fifty one fifty. Yeah. yeah. 51. There's so many now. Mick, Mick and Colin are yeah. so many now. I can't even keep track. It's crazy. Yes. So. Um, so where do you see yourself? Let's just say worst case scenario. Or um, well, not worst case scenario, but best case scenario. You, you win your next three fights in Legacy Fighting Championships. And and now you're in a position where you're you're 12 and 1. Who do you think is going to be calling you? Where do you think you'll, where do you think you'll be in, in after your, your three okay. fights? I think I'll be in the UFC for sure. I think I could get called at any time. If somebody gets hurt, you know, they need a replacement. I think at any point right now I could get the call. So um, I just got to keep winning. You know, I'm, I'm, every fight's against tough guys. So I just, yeah, you know, it's the risk every time you go out there. I got to make sure I keep my keep winning and uh, just be ready for them to call me. Stay in shape. Be ready to go. All right, last question before I let you out of here. What was different about this training camp? Because you, you do seem to get a little bit better every single training camp. Yeah. But it seems like you don't, you don't change much, but you change you tweak one little thing. I'm gonna work on this a little bit yeah. more, or work on that thing a little bit more. I'm gonna change my, or I'm gonna do more strength and conditioning, like whatever. So what was different this camp? Um. Well, first off, I I actually got a camp this fight. You know, I I had I took the fight on like three three weeks notice last last fight. So, oh. uh, you know, I, I kind of tried to cram as much training in the three weeks as I could for that one. Um. So I was I was nervous. I didn't know how my conditioning was going to be. You know, in three weeks, I didn't know how things were going to turn out. Luckily, best case scenario worked out perfect. Uh, this fight, I've been doing a lot of conditioning. I've been ready to go five rounds because uh, uh, Peterson's real tough. I, I got to be ready to go five. You know, ideally, I'll be out of there in one, but I, I'm not I'm not uh, thinking on that. I uh, I've been doing a lot of conditioning, making sure I, I feel great. I'm in great shape, so I'm ready to go bell to bell. How's your uh, How's your weight? Really, I'm I'm surprisingly really low right now so i'm i'm i'll be in weight no problem easy my weight's real yeah. that's manny vasquez getting ready to fight uh steven peterson uh coming up here on legacy fighting champs 56 man thanks so much for coming on here man we'll talk again soon thanks frank